Good morning. It is Wednesday. I know you know what time that means. Welcome along to episode number 76 of our F1 2020 My Team Career walkthrough. And it is the Italian Grand Prix. And as uh, hectic as the Belgian Grand Prix was in the last episode, got a feeling the Italian one is going to be just as chaotic. There is the facility for you all today. Looking, uh, well, it's looking rather nice, uh, I think, seeing all them freeze there. Freeze across the board means uh, an updated facility. Love it. Uh, as Daff, wow, look at that. Renault have brought mega upgrades. i got to think uh, we're going to be taking on the Renault team uh, with how bad the Mercedes have been going recently. There's the new engine. Well, I say new engine. We're going to be putting the brand spanking new one in in a second to uh, cope with uh, the speeds out there today. So let's have a look at the championship, shall we? And Jackie leads away by 60 points. So it's possible she could win here in Italy today. Followed by Tatiana Calder and then Valtteri Bottas, Pierre Gasly, Lando Norris, Alexander Albon, Danny Ricciardo, Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen, your top 10 in the Constructors. Chase Lyon and Ganassi Racing have won the Constructors. They won it in uh, Belgium, followed by Mercedes, Alfa Tauri, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren, Renault, Racing Point, Williams, Haas and Alfa Romeo. And you see that Haas have scored a point, which means one of their drivers scored in Belgium. They scored luckily in my eyes. I don't know how they did it with that underpowered Haas car, but they did it. And that man was Norahubi Matsushita. So yet to score, we have Antonio Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen and Nicholas Latifi. Hopefully that'll change uh, before the end because we've got, what, three races to go? I believe we have three. Yes, Italy, Japan and uh, Brazil. So uh, still, there's still plenty of time uh, to cope there. We're just actually looking here at Lewis Hamilton's results uh, for the for the season so far. Only three po two points finishes. The rest have been outside the points. That is very... Uh, un Lewis Hamilton esque in that uh, car, especially with uh, Botas uh, outperforming it the way that uh, he is doing. Anyway, there's the celebration party. There's the driver promotion filming. We've got them in, and we're here at the Autodrome Nazionale di Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. So I'll get the girls practiced. I will get the qualify them qualified, and hopefully, well, hopefully we ain't got too much surprises uh, lined up in store. They've announced that the technical regulations are changing for next season. Now there's a risk oh. that our hard work could be undone if we're not this one on us. figure out how to mitigate this. Drivers, take a look at the developments we have and let us know what you want to invest in protecting. All right, everyone, let's get on top of this. Well, let's hope that's not the only surprise we have this weekend. We're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar. Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. With the rain coming down here at the 3.6 mile Monza circuit, the low drag setups preferred by most teams could cause them some problems in today's Grand Prix. So watch out for cars struggling for grip around Parabolica, the last and most demanding of this track's 11 corners. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Let's talk about roads. What do you make of their performance so far this season? They've been avoiding mistakes and had solid pace, so it's been a good season so far, but whether they can keep that up long term remains to be seen. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Rose lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Calderon, Gasly, Daniel Ricciardo and Ocon, Albon, Bottas, Verstappen and Carlos Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Lando Norris and Kvyat, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen and Nick De Vries, Russell, Raikkonen, Latifi, and Nobuharu Matsushita. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. As you can see, not the only surprise we've had this week. It's raining here at Monza. <laughs> yes, uh, P1 for Jackie. She set an absolute flyer in the... Uh, in the dry conditions. 
but <coughs> excuse me, that's uh, that's all for nothing now because, uh, like I said, the rain has arrived <coughs> with a with a brand new setup on. I think we're going to put an extra bit of wing in it as well, just to make sure that uh, we've got some turnability in these uh, wet weather conditions. If we have to put some more wing in uh, when we do our pit stop later on to switch off uh, onto new inters, then uh, so be it. Uh, my phone is going off left, right and centre. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> there you go, more notifications. So, uh, let's get going then, shall we? We're just waiting here at Monza. And the lights are out, away we go here in an absolute soaking Monza. And Jackie gets uh, her usual decent start in the Wayne Ray Wayne. What the hell am I saying? But look at that side-by-side -side with Tatiana already. Free wide into the um, retophilia. Oh, and now Tatiana's lost uh, a position there. She may have lost two or three positions. Watch uh, behind. Let's see if we can see her. She's already fr lost fr three positions in the space of one corner being the outside of the retophilia. Down to the retroposta. And uh, that uh, Mercedes needs to... Oh, my! What on earth happened there? Oh, it's a, it's an absolute car park. Oh no, it's Lewis Hamilton. I think it's Hamilton. Can't uh, quite see. He's gonna lose it in the rain and oh, oh, oh no! Ow! Dearie, dearie me. Let's have a look at Tatiana. Please don't be uh, caught up in uh, this uh, mess, Tatiana. We're begging you. Through the uh, Curva Grande. Look at that Renault getting an absolute drive around the outside of that Alpha Tauri. And what's she going to see? She's going to see absolutely nothing there. Ooh, excuse me. Tatiana, there's a gap there. Jesus Christ, woman. Now I'm all with Joe Vanatsky. Let's see what he said. Was that Hamilton? I believe that, yes, that was Lewis Hamilton that uh, ate shit. We are now in the safety car. Let's see what Joe Vanatsky sees uh, back here, the, uh, the hometown boy. That's good. See now, look what he did. There you go. That's a uh, that's a lesson for you all. <laughs> Joe Valanci, ladies and gentlemen. Take uh, take some of that. So let's get ready for the restart here on lap number three. Jackie uh, still out in front. You got Danny Ricardo P2. I think that's uh, Danny. Yes, he is Danny Ricardo. No, that's Esteban Ocon. I do apologise. P3 Antonio Joe Valanci. And I'll guarantee you, by the end of this race, Giovinazzi will not be P3. You may start seeing an absolute bloodbath uh, into the uh, Retroposta, so the Retrophilia, as uh, through the Parabolica we go. And we're off and in the racing again. Not that we got much racing to go in the first lap anyway, because uh, Lewis Hamilton decided to uh, eat shit. And uh, he ate some serious shit as we head down to the Retrophilia. Still that Renault of Esteban Ocon on Jackie's tail. Giovinazzi, though, keeping P3. I tell you what, with no DRS, that uh, Alfa Romeo may be very handy in these conditions. But uh, he's got a lot of fast cars behind him. We're going to have to see if he keeps uh, hold of that as uh, Ocon thinks about a look through the Curva Grande. He's all over her rear end. He's going to go to the outside of the Retroposta. Where is he? There he is. Look at the debris from Lewis Hamilton's mess. And we have to call it Lewis Hamilton's mess because that's uh, exactly what it was. Now, moving on to the uh, end lap here. Dick DeVries has got uh, Danny Ricciardo right behind him. This is a P8. There's been a lot of chopping and changing here. And there's Ricciardo past DeVries. Easy as you like. P8 for the Aussie. <coughs> as we go to uh, the mad Russian, Danny Kvyat. And he will be mad. If uh, he tries, he's going to go to the outside of George Russell. Inside of George Russell for P18, side by side for the Ascari chicane, that should be, no, Ooh, he's having a twitch, he had a very nervous little twitch there, is, uh, we go side by side, that Honda should give the uh, give him a bit of grunt, because it is one of the best engines on the grid, and look at Kimi Raikkonen behind on the uh, George Russell, oh, he had a think about it, <coughs> not quite there, Mr. Raikkonen, as uh, Nick De Vries, uh, yeah, now you're going to see, be seeing a lot of on boards today because uh, the rain was playing havoc with the soundboard. I have no idea what it was uh, doing. I have no idea what it was even attempted either. But uh, we'll try and keep uh, the out exteriors to a minimum. Yes, 
excuse me as I take a sip of hot chocolate. Ooh, that hot chocolate tasted nice. As uh, we got uh, Esteban Ocon trying to pass Jackie down into the first corner. Oh my good god, did you see Tatiana? I think Tatiana saved it. Let's uh, have a look at this. Did Tatiana save this? If we did, get ready to hold the 10 cards up, folks. Because you're about to see the grace of a ballet dancer. Bottas is uh, past Jova Nazi now, so that's an uh, easy passage you like. She's uh, gaining, gaining, gaining. She's really gaining. And oh, no, 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 she did save it! Wow! That, I think that's the first AI save I've ever seen in a race. That's got to be the first. Has anyone else ever seen that coding where an AI actually saves it? That's great. That was great to see, especially in the wet as well as, uh, unfortunately, Nick Debris' race is about to get worse. Here comes Max Verstappen passing uh, around the outside down to the Retophilia here on lap number five. And uh, behind him is uh, Alexander Albon. We'll see if Albon uh, gets through as well. But uh, De Vries may keep this position, you know. He does as well for the moment, but uh, how much longer we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Tatiana now is going to have a look at uh, Giovinazzi. And I think this is going to be the ultimate mismatch here because uh, Tatiana's got the uh, powerful, the super powerful Honda engine in the back of that uh, chase liner Ganassi. And it's past Giovinazzi. Move her into P4, folks, and they got, uh, I believe that's Hollywood Land Stroll uh, right behind them. We'll uh, wait and see what uh, that is all about. Will Stroll have a look? No, he won't. Go to uh, the mad rush, and Daddy Kibiat was the lead luster through the wet weather. He's going to pass Nora Hoogan back to Sheeta here for P17, I do believe. Should be an easy pass around the outside of the Ascari Chicane. I say should be, it may not be, <coughs> but it uh, certainly is now on board with the man Gasly. Looking at the back of Kevin Magnussen here. Look at the spray. The spray is incredible, folks. But uh, outside lines are going to be preferred here as uh, they're still going to be side by side for the Parabolica. <coughs> I'm having to clear my throat with all this uh, action that's going on. It's uh, going straight on the old vocal cords. And if I lose my vocal cords, we're in a lot of trouble. Hello there, says Ricardo. He's uh, going to have a look around the outside of, uh, well, first Magnus will be there. He gets, uh, oh, now, did Gasly hit uh, Giovinazzi there? I think Gasly hit Jova Nazi there. We'll uh, have a look at his wing as we go past on board. Uh, oh, you can't go side by side through the Curva Grande. Actually, we're going to rename that corner. That's going to be known as the uh, Curva Ariana Grande now. The uh, the pint-sized pixie. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. That was uh, all over the places. We've got um, Alexander Albon diving. No, that's Max Verstappen. Sorry, diving down the inside of Alexander Albon. So, no, that's, that's Verstappen diving down the inside of Nick De Vries for P11. Uh, and now uh, Alexander Albon is going to come past for P12. That's uh, what that is. Will he clear him down into the retophilia? I don't quite think he's going to get him. Not quite this time. But side by side, the uh, the tie brick driver and the Dutchman will go. And the tie brick driver will move into P12 ahead of the Dutchman in that Williams. Now who we got? Uh, who we got going on here? This is George Russell in the Williams trying to pass Nora Hubu back to Shita in the uh, in the Haas car in the number 61 Haas car, and uh, they're going to be side by side down towards the Retropost. Sorry, the Retrophilia. I have got to get these uh, corners right. They're Italian for crying out loud. I I, I speak in a part of the Italian. I I also speak a part of bullshit. Well, I speak three languages. English gibberish and bullshit. <laughs> As uh, George is going around the outside of Masashita, he gets uh, P18 for his troubles. Now, a little further onto the lap, we have got Kevin Mag. There we go, we've got uh, Gasly, Magnussen, and Ricard. Magnussen and Ricard are going to have a go at each other here. This is going to be for P7. Side by side through the Ascari Chicane. That should be Ricardo's corner. And certainly is Ricardo's corner. But uh, now what? Because that may have uh, put Carlos Sainz on board with Carlos Sainz. I think that's Carlos Sainz anyway. Uh, yes, it is Carlos Sainz. He's uh, going to go around the outside of Kevin Magnussen here. Oh, get that move done. Get that move done. That'd be brilliant. What a move. Carlos 
sides, you absolute little beauty. Look at this. He can't see in these conditions with all the spray being kicked up. And you also can't see... Um, who is that? That is uh, Charles Leclerc passing uh, Nick De Vries. This is for P I'm showing P11 here. What's uh, what's cracking? Why am I showing P11 when uh, that's clearly not a P11? <coughs> I think that's more likely uh, for P12. Well, it will be if... Um, Char oh, Nick De Vries racing Leclerc hard here. Racing him almost on the grass uh, down into the uh, Retophilia. Oh, no, so that's Lando Norris. I do apologise, that is Lando Norris coming through. Or trying to come through, anyway. Still side by side, uh, Nick De Vries and Lando Norris. The Ferrari on its uh, home patch, and I think he's got him now. Yes, he has. Move uh, Lando into P12. Well, it says P12, but uh, I highly uh, I highly doubt it's P12, folks. <coughs> highly doubt it in the slightest. Now, on board with... Uh, Al Look at the run that Albon's got a Magnussen. That's a, that's a run and a half. Oh, wow, that was done even before the uh, curve came into view. Now, Tatiana. Hey, Tatiana! Around the outside. Well, that, bye. Bye! <laughs> How easy do you want that? Oh, look at this. We got a uh, visor cam. We got a visor cam here on Max Verstappen for this Grand Prix. I love the... This, uh, these new Grand Prix. Thank you for messing up on the exteriors, the soundboard. Oh, there was a bit of weeble wobbling going on there. And Verstappen is around the outside of Kevin Magnussen, and that's for P9 <coughs> on the Dutchman. Now on board the nose cone of uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. He's with Nick De Vries in front of him. Danny Kvyat should be somewhere back there. We may see Kvyat come through. This is uh, towards the end of lap number seven, coming on to lap number eight of uh, the Italian Grand Prix and Hollywood Land Stroll is somewhere. There he is. Now we need to watch uh, very carefully or to uh, our right or our left because Danny Kvyat's right there. And now Danny Kvyat's in front of him. Can we stay on this view right here? Because th this view right here gets the best view of uh, Kvyat and um, Hollywood Land Stroll side by side through the retophilia. And that is just incredible what uh, views we're getting here, and that's a uh, job done. Thank you very much. Now, on to Charles Leclerc with uh, Kevin Magnussen looking uh, over the halo as uh, we go side by side down the main strip. But you think you're going to outdrag that tracing point? That's ridiculous, Charles. To even think that, sir. To even think that as we look on board from Lando Norris. I'll take another sip of uh, hot chocolate if you don't mind me saying so. Now, move on to lap number nine. And uh, here comes Lando having a go at um, Kevin Manson down the main straight. But st in the case of he got right up to the back of him and now he can't get past him. What on earth do you want him to try? It's a P11, so there must be a, an error in the time screen. Even that, or we got uh, cars that are misplaced somewhere. Where's Giovinazzi? I haven't seen uh, Giovinazzi recently. I believe he's still uh, up in P5, so uh, he's holding off uh, everyone very nicely, uh, is the Italian. <coughs> but you got to think, once um, people get past, as Lando gets past uh, Kevin Magnussen there, here we are on uh, lap 8. Hello, Giovinazzi has a 5 second time penalty. I wonder if uh, it might be because he might have gone ghosty through a few people and didn't give those positions back. That would be uh, that would be my guess. Tatiana is the fastest car out there at the moment. Normally, you see it laps around here in the late uh, 19s, but it's in the late 30s. This race suddenly turns into a uh, Singapore-type race. You don't want to be uh, caught out by it as uh, we're on board the nose cone of Carlos Sainz chasing down Giovinazzi for P5, and that is going to be a little heartbreaking for the Italian. But he's still got some good points uh, in front of him. And uh, he's got uh, P5. Well, I thought he had P5. We were on board with uh, Giovinazzi. Now he has uh, P5. Actually, that wasn't... Um, that wasn't... Uh, that was Ricardo. I do apologise. Not uh, Carlos Sainz. As uh, we go to uh, Jackie through the Lesmo corners. Now down the back straight. Tatiana's gaining on Ocon. We could have a scenario where it's Renault against Honda here the two most powerful engines on the grid. 
and uh, I know who I fancy for that as we go over the Iskarish Cane gets a warning for that one, that'll be a slap on the wrist. Yeah, Jesus Christ, you know why? We don't need you uh, going wide uh, there if you don't mind me saying so, darling. <sighs> why are we on lap number nine when we should be on lap number ten? I've only just realised that. And that is an error on my part. I do apologise. Because <clears throat> now you're going to get to see uh, this move by Ricardo again on uh, <laughs> Antonio Giovinazzi. I think it was Ricardo and Giovinazzi. Yes, it was. Unless this is Carlos Sainz uh, finally making his move. We'll see if it is uh, Carlos Sainz. No, there's the Renault uh, up ahead, I do believe. Or is that, was that Botas? No, that is the move again. <clears throat> I don't know why, uh, why it's done that. But uh, it did, and we're going to have to live with that. Now, on board with Hollywood Lance Stroll. Chasing down Kevin Magnussen. Actually, no, that was right. I do apologise. That was, um, that was right. But uh, Kevin Magnussen being chased down here by Stroll. Kevin Magnussen must have a problem. And I mean a serious, serious problem. I know I've got a serious problem. I've got to uh, have a word with my editor. And find out why the hell that happened. That was a not bad uh, hot chocolate there. <coughs> right, on to, uh, on to normal service now. We're, we're getting normal service back with each other. And Tatiana is gaining. That is th the word. They are the, I, I will tell you now, they are the words that you never ever want to hear. Tatiana is gaining. As uh, Jackie goes fastest in the last sector, on board the nose now of uh, Carlos Sainz, he's got Antonio Giovinazzi in front of him, this is for P6 now, and I think the bottle top has uh, finally opened, and uh, the Renault engines are starting to come forward here, and Carlos Sainz is past Giovinazzi, I do believe we'll get to confirmation, yes there is uh, Giovinazzi, and that's uh, P6 for the Spaniard as we go on board, the man Russian, Daddy Kvyat, trying to get past uh, <coughs> Kevin Magnussen here, Here's another uh, powerful engine. This is the powerful Honda engine. Oh, easy. Oh, Kevin Magson's late on the brakes. He wants to make some of this. He wants to say, excuse me, that is my position. But uh, I bet Kvyat will just drive uh, up the inside of him. No, he won't. And uh, keep him in P14 for the moment. As uh, Now, here comes uh, Esteban Ocon. Ocon's finally woken up because he knows uh, Tatiana's back there. Side by side with Jackie into the Retophilia. We, we did this once before, and there's what happened again. You drove right into her. We did this before, and you drove into her. And you've just done it again. Ocon has no sense of anything. Honestly, so Betsy. As we see Albon. Now, now this looks a little harder for Alex Albon trying to pass uh, Giovinazzi here. But he's uh, going to try and get the uh, job done down into the uh, retophilia. And once he gets past him, I've got a feeling Giovinazzi may lose uh, a few more positions before uh, this race is over. And there goes Albon around the outside to move Alex Albon into P7. But uh, Giovinazzi coming back. He's coming back. Nope, he's uh, going to stay in P8 for the moment. Now, we'll see if uh, on board the visor of Danny Kvyat looking through the Halo device. And he tries to get past Kevin Magnussen again. Oh... That was almost IndyCar-esque, that, uh, that camera view. Almost like he got on board with him uh, as we were going forward now. The, a favourite here with the Tifosi, Kimi Raikkonen. Unfortunately, it's with the Alfa Romeo team and not uh, with the Ferrari team. This should be a slam dunk past Norahubu Matsushita. Matt looking on board for Matsushita. Where is Raikkonen? Where is Raikkonen? I don't see Raikkonen anyway. He's somewhere. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Yoink. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, he gets a little loose through the Curva Grande. You don't want to be uh, loose through the... Oh, we are getting some great camera shots today here at the Italian Grand Prix. We are getting some absolutely cracking camera shots, folks. I think there was a bit of contact between Raikkonen and the Matsushita there. Oh, I'm now on board with Raikkonen. I'm sorry, but these camera shots are, are fantastic. And Rock Matsushita's going to keep that position for the moment. Now, did it, did it, 
The Colombian Cyclone is coming. And the Colombian Cyclone has just taken P2. And you wouldn't uh, bet against, as we looked uh, back on the rear wing of, uh, from uh, Tatiana Calderon, you wouldn't want to bet uh, against that uh, not being the last we'll see of her. As uh, Joe Nazi now about to be passed by Max Verstappen into the Parabolica. You look for, back from the, where is he? There he is. And uh, that is P8 for the Dutchman. Now, first lap 13 we're on. Botas has been struggling. And Botas is about to be passed by Ricardo here. These Renault engines that uh, these Renaults have got are really powerful here. And Botas is still there. But it is by the narrowest of margins. I think Ricardo's about to clear him, is he? Yeah, maybe not. Or maybe he'll clear him now. Yeah, he's cleared him now. So move uh, Danny Ricardo up into P4. I know it's P3, so Ocon must have uh, pit him for a new wing. I think. As uh, we go on board with... Who is that? Oh, that is the visor cam again of Charles Leclerc. And he's uh, passing Giovinazzi. Now on board the visor of Giovinazzi, folks. Some of these uh, views that we're getting today, they're, they're top notch. They're top notch. <coughs> That's all you can say. You can't say anything else other than uh, how top notch they are. Because if you do, you're lying to yourself. And I, I mean that, you're lying to yourself in every sense of the word. As, um, who is this? This is uh, Carlos Sainz now trying to get past uh, Valtteri Bottas. This is uh, for P4. So you can see that the Honda engines and the Renault engines are the engines to be on today. So don't be surprised if you see uh, that uh, Red Bull coming past. The speaking of coming past, excuse me, says Tatiana. Hello. Right, we're going to let her go. We're going to let her go because we believe she's coming into the pits this lap. So we can try an overcut strategy here to try and... Uh, and, and there's the confirmation of Tatiana in the pits. So we're now going to have to put in the lap... Jackie's got now put in the lap of her life to uh, try and get uh, past Tatiana Calder on here as uh, we treat ourselves to another bit of shortbread, folks. Mmm. I'm so sorry. Great shot. Now get stuck in traffic. There's nothing in sight. She's got clear air. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Right. But there we go. In, 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 in. May have weak sourced it a little bit uh, on the pit entry, but uh, that's fine, Jackie. Let's see where you come out in relation to Tatiana Calderon. Tatiana may have uh, poached this uh, this Italian Grand Prix here as Jackie comes into her stall. Oh, that's seamless. That'll that'll work. Now, where is she? I think I hear her somewhere. There she is! Oh, she's got... Oh, oh, no! Oh, well. GG. That'll be uh, Tatiana winning this Grand Prix. GG. Can we get some GGs in the chats for Tatiana already? We're, we're not even uh, close to the end of the race here. As uh, we see, uh, this is Verstappen passing Lando Norris for P9. I imagine he's going to pass it because... Ooh, there may have been a bit of contact there. May have been uh, just a bit of slight contact. Nothing, uh, no harm, no foul. But move Verstappen into P9. Because uh, some cars have, uh, have pitted now. As uh, we look at... Uh, who's this? This is uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, go on. Get past Latifi. No, that's... Uh, yeah, that is Latifi. Latifi's uh, in the Haas car. <coughs> oh, great camera work here from the uh, nose cam of Kimi Raikkonen. And unfortunately, it looks like he's going to be passed by Latifi. And uh, keep Latifi in P18 for the moment. Now, we're moving forward onto lap number 18. And we can see, uh, yep, yeah, you can see, folks, Tatiana's gone. When Tatiana gets out in the lead, there's no stopping her. It, it's like uh, she's programmed to be that far out in the lead. At least we've got uh, Ocon at bay for the moment. But look at this. Look at look at the at the uh, thing in the corner. The the leaderboard. Calderon, Levine, Ocon, Ricardo, Sainz, Honda, Honda, Renault, Renault, Renault. 
No Mercedes anywhere in sight. No Mercedes anywhere. It doesn't uh, that surprise you. Speaking of the Honda powertrain, here's, um, who's that? That's Pierre Gasly. Somehow he's had a terrible uh, race. He's down in P16 now. Well, it should be, sorry, 17. It should be 16 now because you're going to get past Master Sheeta with the greatest of ease. As we move on to lap number 20 now, and here comes one of those Renaults. It is Esteban Ocon. He's finally caught up to Jackie. There may be some retribution here. Keep an eye on it, uh, Jackie. There may be some uh, retribution coming here. And if he does, oh, no, 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 no. oh god, oh, that, that was close, side by side. But at least uh, they kept it uh, clean. They're still going at it. This is uh, this is great racing. They're still going at it, folks. He's going to try down the inside of the Ascari chicane. That's not going to work. That's really not going to work. In fact, that might not uh, work at all because it may not slip into the hands of Danny Ricardo. Let's uh, keep an eye on that. No, they're not. Uh, in fact, he's pulling, in fact he's retiring. Esteban Ocon is out of this race, folks. I think he's uh, got an issue with this uh, this uh, Renault powertrain. The Renault is finally cracked. He's uh, going to pull it off here so everyone can uh, get past. There's uh, the first of the Mercedes runners, Valtteri Bottas, then a Ferrari, then another Honda. That'll be a safety car. So two safety cars in this race. Esteban Ocon out of this session. And that's going to put Jackie right on the back of Tatiana again. <laughs> you thought you were getting away, didn't you, you little Colombian cyclone? My little Colombian concubine. But uh, no, alas, you will be brought back to play. So here we go. Restart. Lap number 24. Three laps to go in the Italian Grand Prix. I'm absolutely soaking Italian Grand Prix. <clears throat> when is Tatiana going to go? Because when she goes, I want you to go with her, Jackie. I want you to go with her. Give her everything. Give her the rich mix. Give her the power. Give her everything. Oh, she brain tested you. You cheeky... Not going to talk about that. May end up talking about this, though. Because she may have put uh, Tatiana... Did right, Jackie, right to the hands of Danny Ricardo. Oh, Tatiana, Jackie, a bit deep. And they said Tatiana a bit deep. It's not, that's not Tatiana. But now, uh, oh, Jackie. Oh, yeah, there's a hand gone up there. And now, oh, Ricardo's into, oh, Ricardo's losing the back end of that car. Jackie's going to swing to the inside for the uh, Retro Posta. And, uh, oh, easy as you like, late on the brakes. Take that back, Aussie. P2 for Jackie, but uh, how much uh, longer? They can't keep this up. They're going to keep trading blows if uh, they're not careful. We're going to go on board with uh, Pierre Gasly, who's uh, chasing down Nick De Vries here for P13. Only P13 for Pierre Gasly. Could have been so much better <coughs> if he had had a stellar race, but uh, alas, not to be. And that'll be uh, Nick De Vries down to P14. It may be even worse if... Uh, well, no, he's got Matsushita behind him. So uh, no worries there as uh, we go on board with Kimi Raikkonen. He's looking at the rear wing of uh, Nicholas Latifi for P16. <coughs> and my voice is uh, practically shut already. We'll have to uh, sort that out. <coughs> Anyone get any tips or suggestions how to uh, save your vocal cords? Maybe uh, that uh, tracing point of uh, Kevin Magnussen could... Oh dear, that was a bump draft. That was a bump draft. I was like, excuse me, hey, excuse me. Coming through, there's a there's a dive bomb. Get some of that dive bomb, Nicholas Latifi says to uh, Nora Hubri Matashita. Actually, no, that was Latifi there, wasn't it? So that was Matashita with the, the incredible dive bomb. Now on to lap 26. Well, that was lap 26, but this also happened on lap 26. Jackie, oh, she's getting ultra defensive now against Ricardo. This could end in tears. This could really end in tears. On board with Chase Liner 24. Looking down the rear wing of Chase Liner 24 now. And uh, I think she's going to keep P2 for the moment. But she has got a train behind her. And I mean a train. A train of people that uh, really, really do not belong there. 
as uh, Ricardo's gone for another move, but uh, that is not happening, and uh, that is uh, nice, thank you. <coughs> right, a little later now on lap 26, Tatiana's gone again, and I think the conditions have dried up as well. I don't see any rain falling. I don't see any rain falling, folks. This looks like uh, this looks like it's going to be as uh, Tatiana sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Good lord, two seconds! What are you on? Somebody explain to me what she's on. Is Ricardo? Oh Jesus Christ! How close do you want to get, Daniel? Any closer, you'll be telling it. Oh, look at that chunk! Uh, been taken out the Renault uh, front wing. That was a chunk and a half. But uh, thankfully, thankfully, folks, it seems that uh, Ricardo's uh, not going to get P2 now, as we got uh, Pierre Gasly passing uh, Kevin Magnussen. Yes, Kevin Magnussen, I do believe. Uh, that's going to be for P14. I want to say P14, but uh, knowing my luck, I could end up being wrong. He's still coming! He's still coming! He oh, Jackie's fishtailing. Jackie is fishtailing all over the place, folks. She, all she got to do is hold on for the Ascari she can, and uh, she can take uh, P2 here. Speaking of taking victory, it looks like uh, Chase Lider 24 is going to take victory again for the second Italian Grand Prix in a row. Tatiana is going to win the Italian Grand Prix. The Colombian concubine strikes again. As uh, Jackie comes through the Parabolica, it is going to be P2. But it's going to be a valiant P2, and it's just going to be P2 as well. Phew! That, that was a tough one, folks. That was a tough one. I'm not going to uh, admit that. I thought, we'd, uh, I thought we would have got that. A lot uh, better Kevin Magnussen driver of the day. Kevin Magnussen sucks! Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Well, what a thrilling yeah, well, I don't know about you, but here's the luckiest weekend. girl in uh, Italy right finishes. about now. She'll be incredibly happy with How she managed to, to uh, get through that, there, I have no godly idea. No godly idea, no godly clue. Yeah, pop the uh, champagne bottle there, darling. Yeah. Pop that champagne indeed. Oh well. Cue him up for the girls then, shall we? Oh! A little bit of the bubbly! Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Rose increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Tatiana Calderon gets my vote today. I know that's at odds with the official decision, but I think they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their game. Nothing can challenge the leaders of the Constructors' Championship at this point. But meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. <sighs> well, I can't wait to see what's next either, Crofty. I can't believe that. Out of nowhere, Jackie had the race in the control of her hands. And out of nowhere, the poacher, the Colombian cyclone, strikes again. Tatiana wins the Italian Grand Prix from Jackie to Danny Ricardo, Carlos Sainz, Bottas, Leclerc, Norris, Albon, Verstappen and Kvyat. Your top 10. <sighs> Excuse me. Take a look at the rest of it. Three DNFs, uh, I do believe. Giovinazzi, who... What a disappointment for Giovinazzi, folks. He was uh, P3 for a long time and then... Well, he ended up last. What, uh, what heartbreak for the Italian and his home Grand Prix. Ocon, Perez and Hamilton. Three DNFs. 
Eat shit, Hamilton. Take that L. And oh, ho, 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 that makes the champion. I thought Jackie would have won the championship. But Tatiana's in a position where she can still win the championship. Only just so. We'll get, explain that uh, in a few seconds. Let's go see Claire, see what she has to say to us. Great work <sighs> Well, you may think it's great work, but I certainly don't think it was great work. We did dominate, uh, just not in the way that uh, I wish we would have dominated, but uh, we dominated nonetheless. Uh, and Tatiana keeps the championship alive for one more race. Of course Jackie's thrilled to be on the podium. Who wouldn't be thrilled to be up there on the podium? The weather was miserable today, but do you feel this was an advantage? In the early stages I did, and then when Tatiana got there, uh, no. Is the answer to that question? Is there a hint of jealousy in seeing your teammate up there on the podium? No, no or jealousy between the po both of them. It's a team sport. Appreciate your time. And yours. So you can see Lewis Hamilton uh, takes another Tonkin. <laughs> hold that, L everyone, everybody, right now, up to the screen. Hold that L, Lewis. Hold that L. Hold this L. <laughs> oh, Lewis Hamilton eats shit in two corners into the race. Ridiculous. Uh, number 2.7 million in the bank account. Love to see it. Another 100k uh, money. For nearly 40 million in the bank. What are we going to spend? We can't spend it on anything. Damn it. Sitting around doing nothing. We should start in I know we've got a lot of cash sitting place. around, Carl. What do you want me to do about it? We have upgraded the facility. We cannot spend that money. We cannot spend it. We've got a lot of time to the uh, the Japanese Grand Prix. Well, the season break uh, before the Japanese Grand Prix, folks. So let's get uh, let's get some stuff in there, shall we? We'll take these two big four days uh, straight away. We'll get uh, the girls off to an eSports event. It's always nice to go and support the eSports uh, events when uh, when it needs to happen. Uh, we can only put a two in there, so we'll put some sim training in for Tatiana. As you would, because uh, it, you've got to keep an eye on your second drivers, eh? etc, etc, etc. Yes, that's what the R&D uh, reset handed us. They handed us a big L. Uh, in uh, the powertrain, the uh, chassis and the durability. The good news is we have developed all of the durability, sorry, the uh, powertrain. We've developed most of the chassis. We've got one part left on the chassis to uh, develop. And then we start on the durability. I don't think we'll get all that in before the um, end of the season. Hopefully, we'll get most of it. It's sort of hit and miss, touch and go. So yes, the lead is down to 52 points. What that means is Tatiana has to win both races. That's the Japanese Grand Prix and the Brazilian Grand Prix. Two both fastest laps and then she'll win it on count back. Because she... Actually no, will it be a tie? I think it would be a, an absolute proper sort on tie. So we're going to get right through to the season break and call it uh, a day and we'll see you after the season break guys. 25 likes on the video if you'd all be so kind. Do get subscribed for more F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. Detroit Become Human. The last Detroit Become Human tomorrow folks. Uh, Death Stranding. Marvel Spider-Man. Trains in World takes place on Sunday. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. If you can't be kind. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the finale then of Detroit Become Human, folks.